When you're battling cancer, you don't just fight the disease. You also have to fight the side effects from all the different treatments. And CAR T cell therapy is no different. But to understand the unique qualities of these side effects, you need to understand a little bit about the therapy itself. As you probably know, one of our best cancer-fighting weapons are special blood cells called T-cells. If you think of cancer as a fire, T-cells are the firefighters designed to extinguish it. The problem is, some cancers can disguise themselves to trick the T-cells, which allows the cancer to spread. And that brings us to CAR T-cell therapy, a process where laboratory technicians re-engineer your T-cells to outsmart certain kinds of cancer cells. Once reintroduced into your body, these new super T-cells, or CAR T-cells, can more easily seek out and destroy those tricky cancer cells. Which brings us back to the therapy's unique side effects. For instance, when the new super T-cells start to fight the cancer, they produce cells called cytokines. But when too many cytokines get together, it can cause an unwanted storm of symptoms. For some patients, this cytokine storm, more commonly known as cytokine release syndrome, or CRS, produces flu-like symptoms including nausea, fatigue, chills, and fever. When this is the case, symptoms can often be treated with fever-reducing medications and intravenous fluids. But for some people, the CRS storm can be more like a hurricane. These patients might experience severe cardiac issues, organ failure, and other life-threatening symptoms, and may require intensive care treatment. Patients might also experience neurological symptoms, Think of these symptoms as a kind of fog that can cause language impairment, confusion, muscle twitching, seizures, or hallucinations. Researchers are still working to figure out why some patients experience these symptoms and some don't. Fortunately, doctors have had promising success with medications that are able to help manage these side effects without compromising the effectiveness of the CAR T-cell therapy. Now, there are other side effects that can occur during the CAR T-cell therapy. But the good news is that doctors and researchers are getting better and better at figuring out how to keep those symptoms in check. And that's a really good thing, because when the therapy succeeds, it does so in a big way. The new CAR T cells are intended to keep reproducing in your body for a long time after the infusion, working like a living drug to help protect you. So just as there's no dawn without the dark, there's often no calm without the storm and no winning without a fight. But with treatments like CAR T-cell therapy, there will never be a fight without hope.